What's going on, everybody? I'm uh, gonna do a pretty mellow video here today. It's raining crazy, and I'm going early, I know. But look at this. Slight deluge. This is, this is what happens when it storms in good old Florida. Let's, let's move these baby tortoises in. I don't want these sulcatas to get too wet. I'm holding these guys back, letting them get bigger. Uh, and I don't want them to get too wet. Let's pull them in. Get out of the rain, little ones. Look at this one's getting a drink. Oh man, it's a cold rain too. Hi everybody. I know I'm coming in early uh, this week, but we're gonna do a little bit of a um, shorter live today as I've got to do some things here, people. And um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, what am I gonna do? Oh, we're gonna talk to you guys. We're gonna hang out. And uh, hold on, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put someone in a timeout. Yeah, well, there you go. All right, so um, what am I doing now? We are gonna go and check the good old What's it, the incubator? Let's see what's happening. Look at this though, mate. Look at this rain. This is no joke. It just came in. I just got done uh, giving some friends a little look around. And now it's uh, completely insane, man. Let's see what's going on though with our friendly neighborhood monkey tail skink. Say hello to Solomon. He's back in here. There he is. Let's see if I can get him to join us for a little hello Let's see how's everybody doing hello daniel harkin uh thank you connor i'm glad you're watching alpha new omega my name is kenan k-e-n-a-n uh but thank you uh connor floyd i don't know i'll tell you what i'm not gonna do i'm not gonna pay for that paper i think floyd but i like connor so i don't know we'll see what happens dude i mean you know he's not a boxer but here is somebody that would love to grab me and that is my monkey tail skink i want to see if he'll pay attention to you guys there he is that's solomon let's see if solomon comes out come on out come on out solomon don't bite me solomon would have no problem biting me people uh come on out i want to get him out but i don't think he's going to come out oh here he goes here he goes whoa Jeez Louise, Solomon, why are you such a jerk sometimes? He's a little bit of a loon. But there he is, everybody. Solomon, the monkey tail skink, enjoying his little, what is it called? His little cork bark. Man, I, I thought I'd be able to get outside a little bit today. But that's not going to happen. Uh, Slinky's good. Devante, Slinky's good. Yeah, Parker, he is upset. He was sleeping. There's, there's a furry lizard right there. It's called Max. Come on in, Max. Come on, bud. Let's go. Ain't got time for this nonsense. But uh, yeah, I have snakes, uh, Matthew. Uh, they are um, in the snake room, and uh, that's what they're doing. Uh, let's see. Somebody. Somebody said. Somebody said. Uh, Jacob Van Dyke, you inspire me again. And that's very cool, man. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm glad that more people are interested in helping out animals. Uh, so that's good, man. Thank you very much. Let's see. It gets a little chilly, but not actually, you know, as far as raining, it's not that chilly, actually. Uh, let's see. What up, tall traveler? Uh, a house tour? You want to see my house? This is the most boring thing. I'm hardly ever in it. There's Godzilla and Gamera. Uh, just they, they're over my office. This is my office. Um, not too much excitement going on in here, people. If you want to see it, there it is. Books that I've read books, turtles and tortoises of the world, places I've been. But look, I'm, I'm like simple, dude. I don't care about stuff like this. The house is huge. It's a normal size house, man. Um, Kate's guitar, one of them. My Bowie knife. This is a cool item. This is my Bowie knife. I, you know, obviously I got a lot of, you know, Crocodile Dundee and Indiana Jones uh, fantasies. But uh, my editing software is in Connecticut. My editing software is called the Tom Coppola 2000. And uh, it's a really fantastic uh, editing, uh, editing uh, software. It's, it's an Italian guy from, from uh, Connecticut who does everything. Uh, I just talk about the animals. So that's my office. Let's see, what do we got here? What do we got? What kind of books are we hanging out with? 
Might as well show. Let's let's do this. This this could be interesting. Maybe I know like when I um when I was a young lad, I'm 43, Devante. When I was a young lad, I would um, always buy. Back in the day, we had things called tapes and albums, and it was like CDs and stuff, right? So on the CDs, you would look in what's called the linear notes, right? Is it linear? Liner? Liner notes? Lin linear notes? I don't know. But in those notes, there would be like all the influences of that particular band, or that band would thank this band, and that band, and this band. And that's how I would go find other music um, to kind of listen to uh, before we had like, you know, iTunes and Spotify and all that good stuff now. So maybe this is good. Like I'll show you some, some bizarre books that I've read and have helped shape me. And maybe you'll pick these books up, you know? Um, and uh, let's see. Let's, I'm going to flip it. I'm going to flip the camera. And let's have... Um, all right. So we've got uh, Killer... Gators and Crocs. I got this in Australia. Uh, this is kind of a cool book. It talks about all these gruesome encounters from across the globe. But here's a true story, man. So this, this, th I was in Australia. I was reading this book while I was alone in Australia. And I was in Cairns, Australia, where Steve Irwin passed away. Okay. True story, guys. And, um, I had my BMX bike with me. So I would go do animal stuff. Then I would go ride the skate park in Cairns, Australia. And I read this thing about this woman. Her name was Beryl Ruck. Beryl Ruck. And uh, she went swimming like on Christmas Eve one night, right? And um, she was attacked by a big saltwater crocodile. So here I am doing, doing my BMX stuff uh, at the skate park. And um, I was talking to this, one of these guys and... I was telling him I want to go see Crocs, and he's like, oh, mate, yeah, you don't want to go, mate. They eat people. One ate my mom, my friend's mom. I was like, really? What was her name? He goes, yeah, her name is Beryl Ruck. I was like, holy crap. Hi, Natalia, or Natalie Bridgewater. Nice to see you. Hi, Cos Wobbler. Uh, yeah, man. So anyway, this is a cool book. I don't know if you can get it here in this country, but it's a cool book. It talks about all kinds of crocodile attacks. Uh, pretty good stories, real true life stories. Then I got this book, Fingerprints of the Gods. It's just this crazy conspiracy alien stuff. I like to be entertained, man. Uh, 10, 10 on 10, Connor. A dingo, right? My baby. Yeah, that was a true story too, man. Uh, what do we got? We got, uh, we got some, this is a cool magazine. You guys could check out if you like tortoises. It's called The Tortoise. And it's put up, it is put out by the Tortoise Conservancy. And um, that's pretty cool. That's the, T the Tortoise Conservancy. So that's a cool book. Check them out at turtleconservancy.org. But it's a really, uh, they did it in the style of National Geographic. But this is a really cool, they have some really cool, uh, you know, stuff. Uh, of course, we got J.R.R. Tolkien, The Return of the King. I've read those books over and over. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is a great book. You guys need to pick this up. This is my friend Clyde Peeling. Uh, you can send away for this. Hi, Rebecca. This is, um, this is Clyde Peeling's stories, uh, you know, about building his zoo up in Pennsylvania. Really, really cool book. So, uh, definitely check those out. And here's another great book you want to check out. Uh, The Invisible Ark by David ba Barker and Tracy Barker talking about, um, you know, it's basically talking about how folks like you and me can actually be, uh, a positive, influence uh, for conservation as we all know that you know conservation in the wild has become increasingly um, more and more uh, called you know there's no wildlife so it's going to take folks like you and I to kind of keep these animals and uh, stuff like that uh, hi Danny Rodriguez hi Chloe uh, now sick you're on a BMX thanks Jacob I used to do some BMX stuff um, you know, the, the baby soul cottages were in the beginning of this video. Cause, wobbler, they were in the beginning. When we're done, go back to the beginning, you'll see the babies. Uh, what else do we got? I think those are some cool books. Hey, here's a good book. If you guys have green iguanas, this is a really thorough, thorough, thorough book. Uh, I don't know what edition he's on now, but there was a lot of great info um, in this book. And it's all about the green iguana. So if you have a green iguana and you can find this book, Green Iguana, The Ultimate Owner's Manual by uh, James W. Hatfield III. I would get it because it was really cool. Yeah, that is Darth Maul head behind me. 
Yeah, I forgot. You guys are seeing all my influences. Obviously, I love Star Wars. Um, I like the band U2. Into them. Some people don't like them. I happen to like them. Um, we've got... Uh, what other books? Man, here. Vocabulary words. I sometimes just read words. Because uh, I want to know more. I want to know how to use the... Uh, Use the intellect, my friends. And then, like, I got a bunch of reptile magazines down here. All these, you know, reptiles from way back and stuff. All the, uh, you know, look at this. All the George R.R. R. Martin, the, you know, Game of Thrones, Song of Fire and Ice, all that. And then I read this book. This, you know, love this guy. Uh, good old Steve. Good old Steve Irwin. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, let's answer some questions, man. Hold on. So am I going to go back to the Turtle Conservancy? I would hope so. I hope I uh, go back. Um, I love it there. Uh, this was this is kind of neat, guys. This is a BMX um, a BMX number plate. I was on the Today Show a few times uh, when BMX was going to be in the Olympics in 2008, so I got to go hang out with Al Roker and uh, Matt Lauer stuff, and they gave me this. Look, it even says my name. You want to know something? I have never noticed that this said my name <laughs> until just now. Look at that. Pretty cool. Uh, all right, what else do we got here? Oh, got to hit my uh, little, little. Here's here's something funny, guys. Check this out. All right, check this. Out. So obviously, I like turtles, right? People get me little turtle things all the time, and I got to be honest with you. It's a nice gesture, but I just don't want more crap. I have too much crap, like tortoises. I, I prefer living things, but you know, whatever. Here's how I look at. Uh, we should do an episode where I look through the microscope and show you guys how to look for protozoa and like worms and stuff in your tortoise's poop. It's a lot of fun to look at tortoise poop. Uh, what's up, Debonair Reptiles? Hello, Camden. Uh, here are some of the spots I've been on. Just a few spots. I haven't been there. We have a general, um, you know, not doing too good with Asia. Only been to Beijing. I don't like this. I need to start really filling this up. And Camp Kennan is going to India in March of 2018. We're gonna go to Chennai, we're gonna go head over to the to Western Ghats, and we're gonna go see um, Rob Whittaker and the King Cobra Conservancy and the work he does with King Cobras. All right, let's go look in the incubator. Let's see what's going on. We're walking, we're walking, but before we go to the incubator, here's the living room. Um, you remember this shell from my good friend, Shannon McDermott. She uh, does beautiful work. Go check out her video. Uh, bones, art, and turtle shells. It's a great video. Meet an interesting woman. Uh, and then here's a photo of a uh, timber rattlesnake from Pennsylvania when I was a young lad. Um, what else do we got? We got hats hanging. More maps. I love maps. Fireplace. Uh, this is a uh, this is a crocodile skull. This looks to be. Uh, I, I was told it was romba fur. I'm not entirely sure. This is a one-armed Godzilla because my cat's knocked it down. That was a bummer. We gotta have the Batarang. Very important to have the Batarang in your house, people. That's me. Hats, the hats hang here. And uh, we're going, that's kitchen. Not much happens in there unless Kate's here because I can't cook. I'm horrible. Uh, can you share some information on Indian Star Tours? It's a big follower. Yeah, well, we've done a video on some Indian stars. Uh, we'll do that again soon. Uh, I don't know why, you gotta ask a specific question. Uh, let's see. Thank you. It's, it is a nice house. It's more than I'll ever need. I probably, I will never get a bigger house because who needs one? It's just going to be me and maybe, uh, you know, some, some of my, my, my lovely girlfriend. Uh, there's the incubator, everyone. And there's some condensation. We got some humidity in it. Um, we have, uh, please answer me. I'm new. Marco, answer, ask a question, Marco. Come on, man. Uh, let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da. So this is the incubator, and uh, we have to fill this one up. I just got this one fixed. Chris from um, Sea Serpent Incubators uh, gave me that fan. The old fan is over there. It broke. Uh, so anyway, let's do something here, man. Let's go. Let's see what we got. I, I got to be honest with you. There's not much happening. But we can talk a little bit about the uh, iguana egg. So I pulled this egg out because this egg got moldy, uh, and that's a real bummer, man. Uh, so this egg I pulled out because I don't want it to touch any of the other ones. And it is a very tricky thing for me getting these eggs, these rhino eggs hatched. This is the most I've had as far as rhino eggs. So let's have a, a peek at them. 
Let's peek in and see how the rest of them look. You want them to be without any, oh gosh, I don't know if you guys can see. Let's pull them out a little bit. I don't want to go too crazy. I want to keep these guys. All right, there we go. They're looking good. You want to have a nice firmness to them. Uh, you don't want to make sure that, you want to make sure there's no mold growing on them. That's why I have that newspaper, just to keep any droplets of water from falling on the egg. And that is what happened here. Uh, I'm keeping it in the incubator, but I, I don't have a lot of hope for that. I actually will put um, put peroxide to kind of get rid of it and then put like a neosporin on it, but it didn't work. So it's kind of a bummer, man. Uh, but I'll tell you what, we do have a lot of nice leopard tortoise eggs. They're looking good, so I'm really excited. Uh, Bay Area Reefs, I do not do anything with Fisher Cores, but I would love to, and it would be a great episode in the uh, upcoming days and months and years that we're doing this. Here are some uh, Greek tortoise eggs, waiting on them. We've got some leftover radiated eggs. I don't know if these are gonna hatch or not, but I keep them in there until they smell. Um, and we've got cherry head eggs. Up, oh, we got a moldy egg. This is an old egg, I'm pulling it. We're pulling it, there you go. We're checking the incubator here today. Blue Mountains 916, Slinky is awesome. I just had him, was giving him hugs earlier. So here are some uh, cherry heads and elongated. Uh, I recommend uh, Sean Crawford, uh, you know, the good old Greek, Hermans, cherry heads. Those are all good. That's empty. Those are all great animals. Uh, these are some cherry head eggs that I'm waiting for the hatch. We'll see what happens. Cherry heads are about $250 nowadays. Uh, this year they're going to be going up to $250 because there's just so much demand. Uh, Jackie did not lay her eggs yet out of tie. Uh, Monkey Tail Skink Solomon's good. Drone Ball, he was in the beginning of this. Who is this right here? I don't do international shipments. Hey, I'm sorry about that. Hey guys, sorry about that. Are you guys still there? No, the stream's not dead. Somebody tried calling me, I'm on my phone, and someone called me, and I was waiting for an important call, so I answered, but it was just someone who thought I was a reptile store. It's annoying. Um, back, guys, so I'm sorry, what did we miss? Now, it, there's really not much going on. Here are some Amadora subligosa eggs. Uh, these are just some little, um, you know, pink belly side neck eggs. We already had one hatch out, so these others should be hatching pretty soon. Um, there you go. See that? So there you go. Uh, guys, yeah, I got to tell you, folks, so many of you want to see me on Discovery Channel or Nat Geo or something. That would be the worst possible thing, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. I can't stand, you know, want, like... They would want to take over the show and they'd want to make it something I'm not. I would rather continue to build what we're doing here with Camp Kennan. TV is dead, my friends. TV is dead. We don't need it. We don't want it. They ruin all of the shows. It's no longer about animals. It's about stupid, like, reality nonsense. We don't need it. What I really would like is if you guys shared my videos. If you like them, share them. Help us out. Let's get the word out. There's... There's a 1964 Godzilla, by the way. I mean, come on, dude. You know, they get these actors to do this nonsense. We're not doing that. I don't want to be a part of it. True story. We had a greenlit show with Nat Geo Wild. And Tom and I walked away. The production company, they wanted to turn it into like some dumb reality show. And I uh, didn't want to do it. And uh, they wanted me to, to perfectly honest, uh, screw Tom over. <laughs> And I wasn't going to do that either. So no to TV. We don't need TV. We are building our own community. You guys are great. And um, that's what we're going to do. All right. So there you go. Here's a cool little photo. This is me in Pennsylvania in 1997. We were looking for timber rattlesnakes. That was up in central Pennsylvania, man. Really cool. So um, that's a cool photo. I, I like that. The mist. That was my first cool guy hat. See, that's, I still have that hat. That's my first hat. And there's no beard. And I had more hair under the hat. But uh, there I am. Yeah, cool, man. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Uh, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just pop a squat on a chair out here in the rain. And we'll answer some questions before um, we sign off because it's going to be a little bit of a small, a, sh a shorter show. Uh, have I ever been to Arizona, Kenan? Reptile, Reptilina. Yeah, go back and look. I, I did a bunch of videos from Arizona. Love Arizona. 
I want to get back out there, and uh, it'll be cool, man. We did some good stuff out in Arizona. Do you guys want to see Solomon again? Here's Solomon. Solomon. Dude, that guy tried to call me again. Super annoying. There's Solomon. Good times. He's just poking out. Uh, I've never caught Diamondback Terrapin Turtles. So uh, what else we got? See the baby sulcatas. I got to clean their water. It's been raining, guys. Up oh, here are the elongateds. Here they all are. These guys like the rain. They come out. Look at them go. There's one of those. Oh, let's get them. Let's get them. Here's one of these really beautiful, just blonde, gorgeous guys that I'm keeping. All right, so there they are. Let's focus in on it. Let me see if I can focus. There we go. These guys are dope. All right, look at that. That's the uh, elongated tortoise. And they're really light, these guys. So cool. There we go. You can't take any tortoises to India. You're not allowed. But here they all are hiding out. There's the last red foot. You guys are doing good, man. And I put these on wheels. You see, you guys can do something similar. I put them on wheels so I can move them in and out of the sun uh, as needed. Very important. Um, let's shut this and so no animals can get in at them. More sulcatas back there, but I'm holding these guys back, getting them bigger. There's a milk carton that blew off. I'm not, I'm not a dirty guy. I'm just, like I said, they came all in here. There's all my boots. How exciting. But here's the rain, everybody. Sorry, man. It's, uh, it's because the Wi-Fi router, I'm not connected to the router. I'm just, just sitting right here and hopefully this goes. It's, it, believe me, guys. Ugh. I know. It's, it's annoying when that happens. Uh, anyway, Kyle and I, Kyle made an announcement. I'll, I'll wait until the video comes out, and then you guys are going to gonna see what's going on with Kyle and I. This beard's getting big. I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. Maybe I'll let it keep going. Uh, let's see if there are any questions. How do you feel about breeding wild-caught Russian tortoises uh, to try and get more into pet trade? You inspire me to try that sort of thing. Connor K., people are doing that. Best thing for them so we can stop getting those guys in the country. Uh, there are people breeding them. They're difficult for me to breed because in Florida, uh, they get uh, – they, they need to hibernate in order to breed. Uh, there we go. Marco, Philly, Philly, I'm sorry. There's a, lot of, there's a lot up here, Marco. I can't see all your comments, dude. Don't yell at me. Um, all right, please answer. What is the name of the cactus you feed to tortoises? I'd like to buy a tortoise. Okay, Marco, here's the deal. It's called a puntia cactus, spineless prickly pear. I don't know anything beyond that. It's a, a paddle variety of cactus. Google nopales, best I can tell you. Because, uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 Connor, I don't know. Dallas-Fort Worth gets a little cold. I don't know, buddy. I don't live there. It, would, it might be okay because I know it gets cold there. Uh, hey, man, you going to go to the next Orlando Repticon? I should. I should be there. Um, uh, how do I tell my local pet store if their care is incorrect? You know, um, I would be kind about it. I'd maybe download and, and print out some, um, you know, I would print out some literature of the proper care, and I would go in there and say, hey, look, I really want you guys to succeed and uh, sell healthy animals, and uh, here's some information. People that, you know, I don't want to be a jerk, but people that know and love these animals will be able to know that this animal is not being cared for in the proper way. So I don't want to make a big deal of it, but here's some information. If you do these small things, it will help you out sell these animals uh, because they're going to be healthier and happier. That's how I would do it. So good luck. Uh, when's the next swimming with video? I don't know. I don't know. Not for a little while, I can tell you that. Hi, California Reptile. Um... Please do a giveaway for baby turtles. Nah, I don't think I'm going to do that, guys, because I don't want to do a giveaway on a live animal because, you know, I don't know. I'll never say never, but you do a giveaway on a live animal. I don't know. Just, you know, I'll do giveaways on T-shirts. How's that? You know, because I want the right people to study and care for the animal. I don't like giving away animals. Uh, do a swimming with some kind of iguanas. Yeah, maybe we can do a uh, marine iguana but we'll actually go to the Galapagos. That would be a cool swimming with. The swimming with series, I want to evolve into actually swimming with the animals in the wild. Uh, there you go. Uh, 
Let's see. Uh, I don't do a lot with frogs, Beaver Man. Um, I love them. I'd like to do more. We did a little bit with the red-eyed tree frog in Costa Rica. Uh, so, you know, I don't know. Uh, can, can I keep some fishes in the water, my water monitor? Yeah. Every once in a while, I might eat one, though. Uh, I'd like to go to the Galapagos. Never been there. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wild-caught animals are needed. Imports should never stop. Fresh blood will one day be absolutely necessary. Mutations are a sign of inbreeding. Um, yeah, that's, that's one way to look at it. There are guys that import them. But you know what? Um, I'm with you with the mutations. Could care less. But there are... There are a lot of – certain animals are represented well in captivity, and there's so many of them that you're not going to – you know, the new blood. I would rather have a domestic race and leave the wild animals wild, you know. And the more needs to be uh, learned about with that whole thing. Uh, do I have any blue-tongued skinks? Nope. No, I don't. Uh, what sort of species do I think is the smartest? Well, I wouldn't really know – I don't know. They're all pretty good to me. But, you know, the North American wood turtle is considered a very intelligent animal because it can run a maze. Um, they, they have a lot of problem-solving faculties. So there you go. Uh, that's I Love Turtles video. That is something we thought about doing, having a, having a contest where we had, if a fan come out, we'll tour my house, we'll tour Kyle's house, and we'll tour uh, the Bush Wildlife Sanctuary. Um, but we need to get to a certain level of subscribers to be able to actually afford to do that. Um, I'd love to do that, you know, for like our millionth. That would be amazing if we got our millionth subscriber and we flew uh, our millionth fan out. I don't know how we would figure that out. Or maybe we would pick, you know, We'd figure a way to do it. That's an interesting thing. Tom and I have been talking about some cool things we can do um, because you guys are so engaged and we love doing something back. Um, but, guys, there, when you watch some of the new episodes we filmed last week, Kyle made an announcement um, just off the cuff, and I think you guys are going to be really, really excited because I'll just I'll, – let me just say this. There may soon be a place where you can see Kyle and my animals – uh, that's all. That's it. There may be a place where you guys can come visit, see our animals. Uh, so I'm excited about that. It's about a year and a half off. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I realized I've been following the Camp Kennedy channel for like five years. Well, I haven't been on five years, Tall Traveler. But I've been on, I think we're going on a third year. Um, and I appreciate, man. We know you. We always see you on here, and I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I'd like to do, uh, oh, hold on. Uh, hold on. I pressed the wrong button. Uh, ah, I pressed it again. Sorry, guys. Um, all right, we're gonna get we're gonna wrap things up, man. Does the turtle in Slinky's cage have a name? No, Ryan Brown. It doesn't. I don't know. I never gave him a name, man. Jeez, uh, yeah, I hear you, man. Um, from Ireland, and it's cold and rainy. Well, Eleanor. Well, there, Eleanor. I can't do an Irish accent that well. Uh, <laughs> I'm screwing up my Irish accent. Is that more of a Here's the deal. I don't know what they're Eleanor. I love the Irish. They sound like they're singing every time they talk there, love. But it's not cold and dreary here. It's warm and dreary is what it is. Yeah. I'm starting to get slappy, people. I've been on for a while. Surf and turf, critter keeper. I've been following since you were with BHB. Thank you very much. Appreciate that, surf and turf, critter keeper. Uh, Redder sliders can live about 50 years. Uh, breeding pair of Greek tortoises, what were you meant for breeding tips? All right, Alec Hernandez, you're going to want to get uh, a guy by the name of Barry White. He's a great singer. Play some Barry White music to your tortoises, dim the lights, and let nature take its course. I'm just kidding. Uh, what you want to do is make sure you have a, you know, a large enough enclosure, lots of shade, lots of visual barriers, uh, good, good area for them to kind of dig their nests, a lot of things like that. Uh, if you basically set up their enclosure um, the way they need it, they're going to be happy and breed on their own. All right? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Do I like Trump? I'm actually going to go there. I'll go there. I used to watch The Apprentice. I liked it a lot. I liked him when he was doing The Apprentice. Um, here's my thoughts, guys. Here's my thoughts about politics. Politics sucks. 
Politics is subterfuge. It's to make everyone fight against each other while the lawmakers make laws that really screw everything up. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm not a lunatic. But in my opinion, there's not much going on. Do I think Trump's an outright racist? I, I personally don't think so. Do I think neo-Nazis are taking over our country? Personally, don't think so. I hate Nazis. I hate racist morons. Um, but you got to remember that bad news sells, people. There is definitely racism. But are there a bunch of neo-Nazis running around my town? No. I walk around. I say hello to the Asian guys. Say hello to nice black folks. Say hello to the nice Puerto Rican and Spanish people. And I get along every day. That's it, man. I get along every day. There have been many bozos in charge of the United States from time to time. I'm going to kind of hang out, do my thing, be nice to everybody, and not listen to all the horse crap that's out there. We're all getting along. Come on, man. It's very simple to see. Guys, it's very simple to see. Why do they put crappy shows on Animal Planet that make reptiles the scariest, most dangerous things in the world? Because the layperson... They wind up going to those things and go, ooh, ah, scary. I like to be scared because most people don't like to get to know things that scare them. So neo-Nazis are morons because they're, they're small-minded. They don't want to get to know uh, some of the nice black people. They don't want to get to know some of the nice Jewish people. Dude, I'm down with nice people. I grew up in New York. My best friend's Jewish. The little girl that used to live here is an African-American girl. I loved her very much. I don't care as long as you are nice and nice to me and nice to everyone else. That's how it's got to be, people. Golden rule, my friends. Golden rule. I don't mean to go off on a tangent, but it's been bothering me lately. I I'm bothered by, like, everything I see. And I do think that people on the extreme left and people on the extreme right are knuckleheads. All the rest of us are in the middle trying to get through life. There you go. I hear you. I'm moving on. Anyway, let's go back to turtles. The subject is no good, Vilma Svarga. I don't know, man. I like to talk about everything for once in a while. Uh, so there you go. I'm done talking about it, all right? I love everybody. And I love turtles. Uh, let's see. Um, what else? What kinds of animals do I sell? Lots of tortoises. Uh, when these rhino iguanas hatch, I'm going to keep some back. Uh, I'm going to sell some. Um, but I want to raise a few of those guys up, man. Uh, my favorite sport to watch? I hate sports. Hate them. Can't still, can't, can't still, can't stand sports. Never liked team sports. That's why I rode bikes and did all that stuff. Um, I don't mind people playing sports. I just, I, I, I have friends that are pro football players. I just, I, it's too slow for me. I don't understand it. I'm not into it. You know, I get that it's like a chess game with men running into each other, but never got me excited. I don't know. I like uh, climbing, running, riding bikes, surfing, things like that. Things that you can kind of get adrenaline pumping, you know? That makes sense? Rock climbing. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. North Texas, occasional rainy seasons and uh, a lot of humidity. Should I bring, uh, occasionally last week or two, should I bring tortoises inside? Is that good for them to stay? Connor, I don't know what kind of, I forget what kind of tortoises you have. If you have a dry species of tortoise and it's raining day in and day not day out, I'd bring them in. If it's a redfoot tortoise, I wouldn't worry about it. If it's one of those, I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, let's see, who else? What will I name Slinky's babies? That's a good question. I'd like to be called father of dragons, breaker of, um, breaker of bad husbandry techniques. The, my name is Kenan, Lord of the Turtles, father of, of water monitors, and breaker of bad reptile-keeping husbandry. How's that, man? Yeah, good luck with that hurricane in Texas, people. Definitely a uh, bummer, man. I, we feel your pain. I've been in that last year and many years. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm trying to be funny, Vector12, father of dragons. I uh, used to have, like, long blonde hair, so I kind of look like Daenerys. How about that flipping show? When they killed Viserion, I was tripping. Tripping. Uh, yeah, this is a long one, guys. All right, I'm going to get going. Um, but anyway, thank you. Brandy! Um, <laughs> I'll be seeing you guys later. We did a long one. Uh, breaker of cages, builder of enclosures. Thank you, tall traveler. You guys are better than me, for sure. 
Uh, I, I'll tell you this before I go. If I have a child of my own, I want to name him Canaan, son of Kenan, Lord of the Turtles. That's so Lord of the Ringsy, right? Uh, there you go. Uh, I don't care if it leaves a bad taste in people's mouths, politics, man. We're going to all have to grow up and learn how to talk nice to everybody. So that's it. You know, I don't talk a lot of politics on here, but someone asked me a question, I decided to answer, and that's it. Uh, and I am cheesy. I am a cheesy dude. And with that, I'm leaving, everybody. I hope you had a good day. Um, have fun. Be nice to everybody. And uh, I hope it's sunny wherever you're at and the turtles are happy. We'll see you guys soon. So long.